Another day in paradise. And they're building stuff over there too. Anyways, what's going on y'all? Today, I actually wanted to do a little, um, almost like a tip video, just kinda to help out. So, as y'all can see, I've got black painted mirror caps, but they've got some good, good chips on them. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, oh, geez, fell off. I'm gonna pull both of them off, then I'm going to paint them. So, it's kinda simple, but, Figured I'd make a video on it. If you didn't know how to pull the mirror caps off or you wanted to paint them yourself, it's kind of a little touch you can add to your car. So what I'm gonna start with is, I already pulled this one off because I wanted to test it and make sure it wouldn't break when I pulled it off. Uh, I didn't want to break it on video. But here's this one. What I was told is you can use like a little screwdriver. Um, honestly, I didn't even want to use the screwdriver. I just pulled it off like this. It is a little bit nerve wracking and it might fall. So, oh, this is horrible. I hate that. Things are made like this. All right, so as you can see, the tips are good. We didn't break, don't speak too soon. Um, I don't know if that was broken before or not, but. They have been taken off before to put on the, um, to actually put them on originally when they got painted. So who knows, it could have been broken before, but that's how they come off. There's no other way possible. Anyways, gonna get first started with, uh, we're gonna sand them down, clean them, then we're gonna paint them. Uh, I'm just gonna use a rattle can, cause I mean, it'll work. Spray paint nowadays is pretty good stuff. So let me get that knocked out real quick and get that prepped. All right, so I got the caps off down where I can sand them. You're gonna wanna use as fine grit sandpaper as you can find. So I've got some 320 grit here. I'm gonna use that. It's pretty fine stuff. You can go up more than that, but honestly, I'm just gonna be real gentle with it and just make that work. Uh, and also, this is the paint I'm gonna be using. Just a... Uh, some regular gloss black spray paint. I did it on the grill of my uh, IS300. It worked pretty good, so I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully it comes out good, honestly. Uh, I have any second thoughts now, but who knows? We'll see what it looks like. All right, so I got them sanded down, as you can see. Um, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get some acetone or any kind of like real strong cleaner just so you can get all the oils and all the dust off it. And then once you get that done, then you'll be able to spray it. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, touch back in once we get them cleaned off. Okay, doing it over by my front door. Flying by me. So I've got these down. They are ready. They're clean. They're sanded. I've got it on a little cloth here on my front door because it's kind of like walled off pretty well. So I don't want to get like over spray on the cars or anything like that. Um, but yeah, once we uh, get them painted, I'm gonna do probably one coat at first, one or two coats, and then I'm gonna run over a little bit more uh, thoroughly, but it's just all about being patient, making sure it's dry, making sure you don't get ripples, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it comes out good. All right, so I'm about three coats deep now. They're starting to get a little bit of a shine to them. You can see the reflection in them. And this, mine, this is all from rattle can, so I'm just trying to make the best of what I've got here. I don't want to paint and get them professionally painted or anything like that. They're just a mirror cap, so I'm not super worried about them. Um, but yeah, I'm like two or three coats in. They're looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna hit them with like maybe two more coats and then uh, let them dry for a second. Mine, the temperature is like almost perfect for painting um it's like 90 and not very humid it's a little humid but not that humid it's about 90 and a little breeze so it's pretty good opportunity to paint just got done cleaning this thing up while i was waiting for it to dry on like the first coat but she's all shiny got the uh tips polished up I did just get new tires on this one and an alignment just because I did lower it some more and it was burning through those old tires that were pretty much gone. So this one feels a lot more solid. I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, 
here's the paint job it did on this front grill which actually turned out really good um, I'm pretty happy with that honestly so let's we'll stick with that I think it'll look pretty good but yeah I'm gonna go get some of the videos I have that's kind of coming out in a little bit um, you'll actually see them before you'll see this video so it's not a huge deal but I'm gonna go pull those off the camera so I can record more footage all right so I let them sit for a minute the front which was on the top I had it facing up those are great they have a great sheen but the top actually has a, a little haze to it so I'm gonna run a few coats over the top then we'll get done with that I just finished my final coat and I'm gonna let them dry a little bit probably like 20 minutes and I'm just gonna put them on the car because I'm probably not gonna drive the car today so I can let them sit but I think they look pretty good like that sheen though I don't even know if it'll focus. Look at that. Too clean. But I think it looks pretty good. I mean, what a rattle can job for sure. Pretty proud of that. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to get another clip of installing them just so we can kind of see the final result. All right, y'all. While that was drying, I wanted to talk about something. Um, dang, this lens is dirty. Hold on. All right, y'all. I want to try something. Hold on. So, mic is on. I've been thinking, and I do want to show my appreciation for the uh, few people that do actually follow me from this beginning stage. So, I've got about 30 subscribers right now. A lot of those people are people that I'm friends with, uh, or people that are like local to me. So, I think what I want to do is I want to do a photo shoot giveaway. I'll do like 20 photos, all professional quality. I have a decent, I mean, it's, a, it's a nice camera that I use, and I, I learned editing uh so far i mean i feel like i'm doing all right at it so at 100 subscribers i want to do a giveaway for a photo shoot and since all these people are local to me i don't think that'll be too big of a problem um so i mean when that day comes when i hit 100 subscribers i will pick from those 100 subscribers one person i won't pick them like by hand i'll have a generator do it but i'm gonna pick one person to be in that photo shoot uh it's going to be a little bit of a thank you to the people that kind of stuck with me and, and watched my videos early on um from then obviously we'll go to like maybe a thousand subscriber giveaway uh, ten thousand stuff like that i mean i'm kind of shooting high. i don't know if i'll ever hit that many subs but that would be cool i mean yeah uh that, that's that's a good dream just to get even even ten thousand that'd be pretty cool but yeah i think at a hundred i'm gonna do that that photo shoot giveaway so just let me know what you think down in the comments. If you think that'll be a good idea, if you'd be interested, then just let me know. I also do do photo shoots uh, here to my local people. Um, I've been doing free shoots just because I kind of want to get my portfolio going. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of it right now. Hit me up on Instagram if you want to get some shoots going or even on here. Just comment down below. Uh, I don't get too many comments, so I'll probably see it. <laughs> I will see it. I look at all the comments. But uh, yeah, just shoot me a message or comment or DM me and I'll actually get back to you. And it's out of the way. Let's check on these mirror caps. I've let them sit for about 10-ish minutes. I might want to let them sit more. I'm just kind of impatient. They're actually, they're pretty much a dry by now. So I'm going to put them on the car. I'll give you all a little, I want to be careful with them. So I don't want to, it's like stuck. <laughs> all right. So, actually, screw it. Let's just put them on with the camera rolling. It's kind of a tight squeeze here, so I'm gonna squeeze on by. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do. Scratch that idea. Ended up putting a thumbprint in the paint while pushing it on, so. I guess we'll wait, we'll be patient. We'll be good, but it's annoying to have to wait. What a false. This is my dog Bow, and this is my dog Whipple. Boss, like, you know, the boss manifold, boss car, and then Whipple, like, supercharger. These are the boys. All right. I'm going to wait probably about like 20, 30 minutes, then I will put the mirror caps on. I'll be patient this time so I don't mess it up again. Oh, here it is the finished product. Can't really tell that much, but, uh, they turned out actually really well, surprisingly. Um, I wouldn't doubt that this is how they were painted the first time, unless I'm just 
a better painter than the first guy who painted it with real paint, but I don't know. We got all done with that. Just a little video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of document that. But like, me and the lady are gonna go get some food and then do whatever with the rest of our Friday night. But with that being said, y'all, don't do anything stupid and be safe. I'm out.